Hello and welcome to this introduction video of Builder All University 101, the complete training course to get you started, understand the software and realize what you can do with it and how it can help your business to grow. So this is a completely new uh, account. This is the first time you log in. This is what you will see after you log in. There's a tutorial there. I mean, you can click on it, start now and it will show you the basics as well. But I'm not gonna go through this because you can do this by yourself. Let me just quickly explain to you uh, what is what and what is where. So if you click here, join our private Facebook group, you will go to the Builder All Facebook group. This is a perfect place to get support from, um, from fellow members, uh, the people from Builder All themselves, they're active in there as well. Although this is currently right now, uh, I'm very active in this group as well, as you can see. Um, currently right now, this is not a support tool. In the future, they might do it. I think that's the future of business support uh, anyway. But um, if you want to get support, this is just for uh, if you have a question, if you want to talk about strategy, if you want to talk about features on how to use it, or if you've got a problem and want the community, the builder all community uh, to help you out there. And this move, this group is extremely active. It's uh, super good. And just to be able to be part of that group alone can already help your business. Now for builder all you, we have our own group where we talk about strategies, where you can ask questions, where we help you develop strategies and come up with ideas. So um, this is a little bit more personal. Uh, we don't supply support for the software. We will help you when we can, but it's more about what to do with Builder All. Like once you've got the website done, once you build the website, uh, what strategies can you use? How can you drive traffic? What can you do with the traffic? How can you create more upsells about downsells? We talk about funnels. We talk about all these type of things. Uh, as long as you have questions, we are there to answer them for you. But if you do need support, just click on the support button right here. And here, right here, we've got a live help button. Oh, I'm just a little bit too fast. So let me just go there. So then the chat will pop up and normally should load. Processing request, it says in the bottom. So sometimes it can take a little bit. There it goes. So <clears throat> this will load up a chat window. You can put in your name, start a chat. Sometimes they help you directly and sometimes they will forward it to the person that's best suited for your problem. So you get the best response possible. Of course, they also have the FAQs, frequently asked questions, the tutorial videos. Uh, this is new to me, new stuff. So this is probably about the things that they just recently added. And then let's go to the left, because in the end, this is what matters. In Builderall, you have the drag and drop site builder, which is the HTML5 builder. It's an amazing tool. It allows anybody and everyone to be a designer, a website builder. And um, in this course, we're gonna show you how to do that. The app creator, you can build your own app. Now it's not gonna be a really complicated app. It's gonna be an app that can help you as an extra add-on or support for your client, your customer, maybe your own company to share some information or get some basic stuff out there. Um, the responsive block slash site builder is, is slightly different than the HTML5 builder. The HTML5 builder gives you free space to do whatever it is that you want to do. The responsive site slash block builder is a uh, site software that basically you have to look at it like it designs in squares. So you can have a, a top square, like let's say this website here, this will be one block. Then this is the second block, but this block is divided in one block. And then the white thing is the second block. So then inside of the second block, there's another block on top and a block below. Then in this block, there's another big block. And in this big block, there's another three blocks. So it really builds on blocks. And because it builds on blocks, it's a lot easier uh, to make it responsive on mobile phone and tablet and everything that it automatically adjusts, which is something the HTML5 builder right now, and I'm not sure if it ever will, but right now it doesn't do that yet. That's the biggest disadvantage about the drag and drop site builder. But 
The big advantage about the drag and drop site builder is that it gives you so much freedom to create the websites that you want, the membership sites that you want. It does literally almost everything. I've been building websites since I'm 13 years old and I'm so impressed by this software and it takes a little bit of time to get used to and setting it up might take a bit of extra effort, but once you've got it going, the website offers so much features and options to create multiple level deep down membership sites um, and sales funnels and everything. It's really, really worth uh, its money. It's really worth the time that you have to take in order to learn it. And that's the reason why we designed this course to help you get started and help you understand how to use it in the fastest way possible. So then we've got our email marketing and automation. I and It's also called Mailing Boss. If you click on it, we'll go to a new website and uh, sorry, there was an error while trying to connect your mailing bus account. If this is the first time you access mailing bus, please try again. If the problem persists, then try again. So we're just gonna click on it again. And now you can see it works. So first name, Randy, second name, Herman. So my company is called the vegan entrepreneur. Name of your business the vegan entrepreneur and I could do put here also build a role you um, without the HTTP double point slash slash so it's gonna be build a role you dot com default email address just gonna leave this email address for now so I'm gonna do next my address I'm just gonna quickly fill this in. Uh, voila. If you wanna send me a postcard, go ahead. <laughs> and we're all set. So now the first thing we have to do, and the reason why I started with Mailing Boss is because once this is set up, it's uh, easier because if we wanna let somebody opt into our email list, everything's already done for us. So we're gonna create our first list and we're just gonna go over really quickly by the basics. So the name of the list will be build a role you. Build a role you. Members of our build a role you platform or community. I like community more. It sounds more like we're building something of meaning. Opt-in, we need a double opt-in, opt-out. I just do a single opt-out. A double opt-in means that somebody has to receive an email first confirming their email address before they're actually activated on their list and before the email sequences actually start to happen. So I'm gonna click next. And here I can say the fields that I want. So for this, I'm just gonna do the absolute basic, create email field, create first name list. I don't need to create a last name list. If we want to create a full name list, we could also go here, edit, and then say the label, it would be, um, this is what your subscriber will see above the input field. So this will be the little text in this case, the way it says here written down label, what you write here will be the label or what you write here will be in this case for this thing tag or required or visibility or short order. It's the thing that will show you what this label is. So in this case, I'm going to do full name tag. I'm going to say full name required. Do they have to fill this in? Yes, they have to fill this in. Visibility, the hidden fields are not shown to subscribers. Well, we need them to show this. Sort order, which order does it take? Zero means it's on the absolute top. So if we get a form after, let's say this form, the form that we see right here, this one would be zero, this would be one, this would be two, this would be three, this would be four, this would be five, this would be six. So where do we want the full name to be? Right now, email is at zero. So if we put this at zero, email will move up to one, which means we first get the name, then we get the email address. So I want to get first the name, 
than the email address. So I'm going to put here zero. Help text. If you need to describe this field to your subscribers. So we're going to put enter your full name. Default value. Does it have a default value? Does it have something inputted in there? No, I don't want. It. So this is done. Here we can add more fields. And uh, let me show you an example. We can add a drop down field so we can actually get something like this. But I don't want it, so I'm just going to press remove. So now, because I've got the full name already, I want to deselect the first name because now it's only going to be full name and the email field. So save next. And now we're going to get towards the email. Um, <clears throat> towards the email subscribe confirm email please click here in order to confirm your subscription on the list list name list name means it's going to show us the name of the list so we have here different variables that we can actually use including our own added full name so if for any reason you cannot access the link please copy the following url into your browser address bar subscribe url this is the URL they have to click in order to activate their account. Thank you, company name. Now, I don't like this type of email. I want to get a different email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I can just simply drag and drop in here different pictures. Now let me go down. Voila. And let's say I want to add another one. So let's say I want them to opt in, receive a really complex email explaining our company, explaining some things. Uh, we can do this and just by clicking on here, we can edit the text. Hello, yes, no. So I'm not going to design the copy because that will take a lot of time. I advise you to write the copy down in a document before editing it in here. So you actually know what you're trying to design. It will make it a lot easier. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use this email editor. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click over here. If I want, I can just drag and drop these sections to a different area, but I want to delete them. Yes, I want to delete that. Click again. Yes, I want to delete that. Yes, I want to delete that. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is right now. The title is exactly the same and we're going to press save next. Have a save and go to the next page. So I'm going to leave this designer on the left. Please check your email address in order to confirm your subscription. Thanks. Once somebody opts in to your form, they will land on this page. And this is really ugly. Like you don't want to use this. You want to make a special page where people log in. Once you did that, you take the URL of that page and actually put it in here. So once you put the URL in here, it will redirect over to the page, the thank you page that you designed and that you actually gave a certain feel or look to. However, we didn't design anything yet, so I'm just going to leave it like this for now. But keep in mind that once you design the list and people have to opt in, here you have to add it and uh, edit it. But I'm going to show you how to do that in a later video. We're going to finish the process of setting up mailing boss and our first list. Click this one away again. This is the email. What I like to do is just like to read it because when I read it, I understand it better. Unsubscribe, confirm email. Please click here in order to unsubscribe. Well, this is if you have a double, uh, yeah, not a double opt-in, but a double opt-out, which means that they would need to get two emails in order to unsubscribe from your email list, which I think is a really annoying service. If they want to subscribe, unsubscribe, I don't want to try to keep them there. Uh, through email because they've already made the conscious decision that they're fed up about my emails So I don't want to annoy them even more and I just want them to unsubscribe and You know like keep up my own reputation. However, that's personal preference uh, Some people might want to make it as difficult as possible But I think difficult customers are not gonna buy from you anyway So I would rather make it easier 
so they have a less negative experience and I have a better chance of grabbing them again in the future because they're not that negatively associated with me. I'm getting emails inside of my email box every day from companies that are spamming me every single day. And when I'm trying to opt out, they say it's not possible. Uh, the email list has a problem or I go on an error page. And the more I get these type of emails, the less I want to buy from them. So to me, I just look at my own psychology and how I perceive it but you have to try whatever feels good to you. And these are the things and strategies we talk about as well in our Facebook group, by the way. Um, we're talking about strategies, about psychology, about mindset, about how to optimize things, about results, A, B, split tests, etc. Uh, thank you for subscribing into list. Email list, you can update your information at any time uh, by clicking here. So. This is a um, thanks for coming to the list email list. Your you can update your information at any time by clicking here. This is the welcome email. Not everybody is going to receive this. You can opt this in or opt this out. Uh, I never send this because I don't want to send them this basic email. I just rather send them an email sequence because I think I have more control and I can decide when they want to receive what. So I always just click next here because I want to. Uh, I want to control. Yeah, I, I'm going to do that with, I will show you later with the email sequences, but that's for something later. So now we're done. Now we are uh, ready to start and build our first opt in page. And that's where this video ends. So I'm going to continue in the next video and show you how to build an opt in page in the HTML5 builder.